friends. Today I am doing a little reset with my business and with my house and my life for the new year. Today is the first day back in the office for me since I closed my office for Christmas break. Although I definitely was still working, um, but it just gave me time to be like off the clock for clients so that I could focus on things for my own business, which was really nice. I have all of my blog posts for January are already scheduled. They're like written and scheduled, which makes me feel really good. I definitely did work a lot even through the holidays, but I feel good. I feel like I know what my goals are and my intentions are for the year and how I want to feel. Um, if you didn't see my last YouTube video, I did a whole breakdown of my 2024 goal setting process as well as a 2023 year interview. So I will leave the link down below in case you want to go back and watch that video. I feel good. I'm excited for today. I need to clean up my office a little bit. So I'll show you guys that um, and just need to kind of reset, go through some emails. My assistant is out of the office this week. So I'm going to have to make it through without her. Um, and just go through my emails and get some things cleaned up. I've got some emails I need to send and then just gonna start diving into some work, but really trying to be intentional with some of the boundaries that I've set. Like I don't wanna be feeling stressed, um, trying to get better sleep at night. Last night, Ryan and I, my husband, we, we've been getting to bed at like midnight or later recently. The holiday season just completely threw off our sleep schedule. So last night, we started winding down for the night at like 9.30, got into bed, and then his mom got him this new book for Christmas, and so we just like read that together before bed, and it was so nice because he read like the first chapter to me, and then I started falling asleep, and it was so fun because when I was little, my mom used to read me bedtime stories, uh, and she would read a chapter of a book like every single night before we would go to bed, even when we were, I wanna say my sister and I, I can't remember how old we were, but like we did this for a long time and we would start doing like longer books and uh, my sister, she's five years older than me, but she would come in my room and we would like listen to mom read the book together and it was so fun. So it was kind of nice and nostalgic last night to have my husband like read a book to me before bed. I just loved that. So I think we might do that again tonight. So shout out to my mother-in-law for blessing us with such a fun book for Christmas. Now I'm just starting off my morning with my Bible time. And after that, I'm gonna go upstairs and then I've got a bunch of little like admin things to do this morning and I will do that while I'm on my walking pad. And then I need to organize my office. I've got a to-do list for sure, but like we'll have to see where the day takes us today. But I'm just gonna kind of walk you through resetting my life, my business today, and getting back into the swing of things after the holidays. This Christmas tree, I love her, but she needs to come down. I've got a bunch of Christmas decor out that needs to come down. I have been known to leave my Christmas decor up for an insanely long amount of time. Like I'm talking till March. March. Who leaves Christmas stuff up until March? And mind you, this is after having it up since November. It's almost six. If you were to leave your Christmas stuff up until March and you put it up in November, it's almost six months of Christmas. And it's really technically only supposed to be one month, which I don't think one month is long enough. Like I definitely am here for having Christmas decor up like since November. I don't want to keep it up. Like I don't even want it up in January. Usually I at least keep the Christmas decor up through January. I just think I want to put it down now. I want to take it all down now because it just feels like I've got Christmas clutter everywhere and I want to get things cleaned up. Business. Coming into my office, it is an absolute mess in here. I guess it could be worse, but it is just, it's messy. It's messy, it doesn't feel good. I need to get this cleaned up, but the first thing that I need to actually do though is look at my client project database. I have the system on Notion that I use, which if you're not familiar with Notion, it is like an organization platform and I use it as my project management tool. And I have this page on Notion and I also have a YouTube video that's got a little Notion tour for you. Um, I will link it down below in case you're curious, but I have this page called the Client Project Database where I keep every single one of the projects that we currently have in the pipeline for all of my monthly design clients. 
So I have not gone through that yet. Usually my weekly routine is like every Friday I do go through that and then that's what I use to like set my weekly agenda. Haven't done that because of the holidays. So I'm gonna do that this morning, figure out what needs to go on my list this week. I'm gonna do that on my walking pad. Once I finish that, then I'm gonna get to cleaning all of this up. for a couple weeks that was not bad and I honestly don't feel super overwhelmed with what is on my list for the rest of this week it is technically a short week because of course I was off for New Year's Day um, so I'm not mad about this and I'm feeling like this is a good start to the new year my whole goal if you watch my 2024 goal setting process was not necessarily like about how much money I want to make or like you know KPIs that I want to hit with my business this year is more about how I want to feel in my business and I don't want to feel rushed. I don't want to feel overwhelmed and I want to have time. Um, so again, if you haven't watched that 2024 goal setting process video, I go more into detail about all of this, but so far for day one of being in the office, I feel like I am doing what I need to do to stay aligned with these goals. So now I'm going to take some time to tidy up my office, do a little reset in the office. And I'm so ready to get this mess. <laughs> cleaned up and then later today I would really like to work on getting the Christmas decor down so I'm gonna go ahead and start tidying up the place and then I'm gonna do a couple more things for work and then by the time I'm done with that it's probably gonna be close to lunchtime so that's the goal for right now that I want to get done so let's go ahead and tidy it up in here Okay, this literally took like five minutes and I just feel like it probably doesn't look like a huge change, but it really does feel a lot more organized in here, especially just with having a little bit more free space on my desk. But now I think what I really wanna do is go through the house and just take down some Christmas stuff that I can just easily put in a box and be done with it. <laughs> piece of artwork back up my husband is a huge golfer he loves the masters fun fact our wedding anniversary is always like the same week as the masters in april so i made this for him as like a little gift and now that christmas is over it's gonna go back up on the wall the christmas clutter it is so real i already feel way better having most of it put away really the only things that are left now 
Actually, I think the only decor that's left now is my tree in my office and my tree in my living room. The living room tree is probably gonna be a larger task that I'll do in the evening. And then the office tree, I might do at the end of the day today. But for now, I've got a couple of quick things I need to check off my to-do list. And then I'm going to take a little break for lunch. <laughs> One thing I just realized, I completely forgot to introduce myself, but I'm Sophie. If you are not familiar with my channel, I am a graphic designer and illustrator based in Indiana. I am self-employed, obviously, you can tell from this video. And I took my business full-time in November of 2022. I'm a self-taught graphic designer and I love small business. I love everything small business, love talking about small business, love meeting other small business owners. So if you are a small business owner, current or aspiring, please introduce yourself in the comments below because I would love to say hello. And yeah, I think that that covers like some of the basics, some of the quick facts about me. I've been doing this for five years now officially and I love it so much. And I'm really appreciative that you are here watching this video right now and, and subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying this. So I have a lot of like leftover holiday food that I want to make sure me I want to make sure it gets eaten. I don't want it to go to waste. And I have this new wonder oven, which is basically like an adult easy bake oven. It's so fun. My new obsession right now is cranberry and brie together. And so I have some cranberry and brie bites that I'm gonna pop in the oven really quick because I'm just feeling like a little snack lunch today. A little appetizer plate. I'm gonna pop these in my little wonder oven. It's so cute, I'll show you. These are the little appetizers. I'm making a bunch of them so I can like reheat them later. But I'm just gonna take this. Well, I mean, look at my little easy bake oven. It's a wonder oven, but it feels like a little easy bake oven. So that's why I call it that. So I already have it set to bake for 10 minutes. Although I don't know, I honestly don't even know how much time it will take. I just kind of like set it and then just keep an eye on it. So I'm going to go ahead and set this in here. Beautiful. Perfect. And now we wait. That oven is easily one of my favorite things that I have in my kitchen. Also, I'm cutting some bread right now, so don't mind me. Just got it for Christmas, and I have used it like literally every day since I got it. You can use it to reheat, bake, air fry, roast, toast, and steam. I think I listed all the things, but it is a seven in one thing. Um, so I love it personally. I think it's the best. Um, and now I'm just using, I've got some leftover, just like leftover uh, spread that I actually put on some chicken earlier this week that, oh my oven just went off, cute. It's like this cream cheese and spinach and sun-dried tomato spread. And I'm actually just gonna put on some bread and broil it because I don't want this spread to go to waste. So I'm like, how can I use it? And I can put it on garlic bread. Okay, this smells so good. Now it's time to take this out. And I always am like kind of nervous about this part because I don't want to like burn my hand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was insane. Throw this in here. Don't these look so good? I cannot wait to eat these. I'm dying. I was just wondering. I was just wandering around the house looking for Dolly because I had no idea where she was and I came in here and she's just curled up in bed because I didn't make the bed this morning. And so this was her prime opportunity to get cozy. She is so precious. I love you. I love you. She's so cute. What I do not love about wintertime in Indiana is it's just, it gets so gray and just cloudy 24 seven. And I feel like we have not seen the sun here and I don't even know how long. It feels like it's been several days. Even this morning, it was just so dark outside. Like it was, it felt like the sun had not come up yet. 
and it was like 10 o'clock and it still just felt like really dark and just like gray and gloomy and it's definitely gotten really bright out in the last hour but it's still just like so gray there's no sun i just miss seeing the sun i honestly i can deal with the cold it's just not seeing the sun that's what i don't love about our indiana winters here i just finished my lunch so it looks like for the rest of the day i have a landing page that i need to finish up for a client I was gonna start on a website, like start making some more updates to a website for a client, and then an IG bio links page for one of my clients. So I feel like I'm already getting towards the end of my to-do list. And I'm like, this is exactly what I wanted for the new year, to feel like I can finish work early for the day if I want to, not feel rushed, not feel stressed. So at least for day one, of being back in the office for the new year, we're doing okay. One routine that I like to do literally every week for my business as like a little weekly reset is, of course, I have my calendar um, online with Gmail for the week, but I also have this little uh, Rifle Paper Co. weekly list or weekly agenda. It's like a weekly spread. And I really, really enjoy each week going through this and just writing down like all of my appointments like my whole schedule just so that I can also have this like right in front of me on my desk the practice of like writing out the dates for the week and what meetings I have each day just helps me to feel like grounded for the week and like okay like I know what I'm doing I know what is coming up this week I know what appointments I have or what I need to be on the lookout for and it's nice to just be able to like glance at this every time I want to know what's on my schedule for the week rather than like having to open up my calendar on Gmail every single time I want to know what I have going on for the week. So I'm going to go ahead and write this stuff in and I'm just kind of like cross referencing what I've got going for the week um, on my calendar and then transferring it to my weekly list. So Monday obviously has already passed. Uh, we were closed for Christmas break and New Year's Day. And then I don't have anything else, like any other meetings going on today. That was definitely on purpose. I don't like to have any meetings on my calendar when I'm coming back from uh, like vacation or holiday or time off. Um, Wednesday I have boxing with my coach at 10.30. Really excited for that as always. Thursday, I have a monthly marketing meeting with one of my retainer clients. We're gonna be meeting in person for coffee that morning. And then in the afternoon on Thursday, I actually have a meeting with an attorney. She has been helping me with revising my client contracts. So we are gonna be going over the uh, changes that she made to my contracts and the new legal agreements that I have drafted up. And then Friday, I have no meetings because if you saw in my previous video, I am trying my best to make sure that I'm doing like first I'm going to try to start with like a half day on Friday and then I honestly would really like to move to a four day work week so I gotta be honest I have no idea I have all the best intentions here I have no idea if this is actually going to happen or not but at least when I'm not in busy seasons I really would love to stick to this so I have not put anything on my weekly agenda for Friday and I'm certainly not going to put any meetings on the calendar for Friday um, because I would really love to take Friday off and like really stick with what I said I wanted to do. So that's it for what's going on the calendar for this week. <laughs>
So I just got back from my walk. I did probably 30 minutes with Dolly. So today I believe I walked a total of like an hour and a half today. So I'm kind of excited about that, honestly. Uh, I like love New Year's goals. I love New Year intentions, but I also am kind of like, I hate the mindset of like, you have to become a new person overnight. Um, like I hate the new year, new me thing, but at the same time, I do really enjoy a fresh start and a chance to make new habits and uh, just better lifestyle choices. So I'm excited about uh, doing some more walking and just trying to implement that into my daily routine. And I was glad that we got outside when we did because we actually ended up having a little bit of sunshine today. And I was like, I obviously love walking on my walking pad, but if I can actually be outside in the sunshine, I need to take full advantage of that. So that was kind of a blessing, honestly. So for the rest of the day today though, I've like really got a lot of emails that I need to answer. And I just need to clean up my inbox from just all the stuff that's come through while I've been on break. But it's just so funny because usually like my assistant is here to help me with that. And I'm like, this is what it was like, you know, before last September, I hired her in September of 2023. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's like, yeah, back to, back to what it was like. Like, this is what it was like before I had an assistant. And it's hard. It's hard. I mean, I can do it, but I'm just like, dang, it's kind of difficult to fit this all in one day when I don't have an assistant that's helping me. So it just kind of shows me how it, it, it's a good decision that I hired an assistant because she really does do so much so i'm gonna strategizing how i want to finish up uh the rest of my work for the day because really i just have emails to answer and then i need to edit a youtube video which is this youtube video because i'm filming this the day before it's gonna go live because i'm trying to do two uploads per week and i really want to stick to that and i'm uploading on mondays and wednesdays well today's a tuesday so there needs to be a video for tomorrow um i'm also really excited because I just, I don't know, I feel like a lot of my YouTube videos just haven't really gotten a ton of traction recently, like especially since I took a big break and then like came back and started trying to make more videos um, and trying to be consistent with it again. I just feel like I haven't really had a ton of great like traction. Well, all of a sudden, this 2024 goals video that I posted yesterday or uh, on Sunday, on New Year's Day, it's like actually kind of popping off a little bit. Like maybe for somebody else, it may seem like the views are low, but for me, like it, it's got almost 500 views at this point. It's been up for like only a couple days. For it to already have almost 500 views, that's like kind of a big deal for me. So again, for somebody else, maybe that's like not much, but for me, that feels like a big deal. And there's like people commenting on that video too, which makes me happy. So I gotta respond to those comments and I have all of them responded to except for one, so I gotta do that. It just like feels good because I, I gotta be honest, I spent like all day on Sunday uh, editing that. It just feels really good to see that it was worth it and I was trying like a new editing style and incorporating some other things, so it feels really good to see that that paid off. So I'm excited to make more things like that and to continue putting in effort into YouTube. YouTube is a long game, or at least that's what everybody tells me. So switching gears a little bit, the last thing that I wanted to talk about today is just kind of my 2024 social media content planning reset routine, my little thing that I do. My tummy is really, wow. Okay, basically what I do from a content perspective is according to my 2024 goals, posting on Instagram to to three times per week, uh, doing one SEO optimized piece of long form content on my blog each week, two uploads to YouTube a week. Um, and then that's really what I do. And then of course, like email, I have my weekly email that goes out and then like my monthly, the last email of the month that's like my newsletter thing. So I actually batched four blog posts over the weekend because I, something that I've realized is that it's too difficult for me to try and write blog posts in the middle of the week, like in the midst of all the client work that I'm doing. So I was like, I'm just going to have to set aside a day each month. It doesn't have to be on a weekend. It just ended up having to be that way for me, uh, for this past week. But like, I need to set aside like a half day, just literally to devote like four to five hours to batch writing for blog posts. Um, because 
that's the only way I'm gonna get them done and be consistent. So I did that. Um, and basically what I do for figuring out what types of blog posts I want to write, I have a content master list that I pull from and it is a list of anything, like anytime people have asked me questions on YouTube or Instagram, any requests that people have ever sent my way for what they want to know more about, like the things that I get asked the most. Um, I have a business mentor, her name is Sarah. She gave me a bunch of content ideas, so I have that in the list. I've got my own ideas for things that I want to write about, um, lists of things that are like trending topics that I've seen that I want to like share my take on, like just a bunch of things in this like content, this master content list that anytime I go to write, I already have a list of things. Like I already have a list of topics, so I don't have to waste time brainstorming ideas. I can just go pick one and then start writing. Um, and then from there, that blog post informs what I share on Instagram and my email newsletter. And then I also do like to try and match up my YouTube content as well from time to time. So I shared a YouTube video, uh, I believe last week about how to like how to know when it's time to raise your rates, how to raise your rates, all that good stuff. But then I also have a blog post that went with it. So kind of keeping those related helps me to repurpose content and keep up with all the marketing channels that I'm on. And then what I usually do right now with Instagram, like I pretty much already have my January content calendar all done for Instagram and I made like carousel posts from my blog posts uh, that I wrote and then also came up with ideas for reels based on my blog posts that I wrote. So that just kind of helps me keep things like all in sync. Um, it gives me ideas, helps me to cross promote. Um, and then I'll like go in and, and fill in my Instagram maybe with like some other stuff. If I see something that's like trending that I could hop on and uh, maybe give my own fresh take on, then I might add that in. Like there's definitely space for ad hoc uh, posting, which is just kind of like, it's not necessarily scheduled, it's not necessarily planned, it's just kind of more in the moment. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of a look at how I plan my content for the month. So I teach about this in my course and give like a really, in my creative entrepreneur accelerator program. Um, I'll leave more details about that in the description box. You can click on the link below, check out CEA. Um, we are about to start in January. Half the class is filled already though. So we've only got about five spots left. Um, but anyways, I teach about this in my class with like a really specific rundown of like the method that I use to uh, batch create content and make it something that's like manageable, consistent, sustainable, um, because I have like a whole in-depth system. But that kind of gives you a preview of how I do that. So everything is like reset. I've got all of my January content like ready to go. I just need to create a few more Instagram posts, but Outside of that, everything's pretty much ready to go. My weekly emails are basically plug and play. Outside of that, I just need to keep filming my, filming my YouTube videos and editing them and posting them weekly. Thank you guys so much for being here. I just have to say I love making these videos and I'm always just like, whether people watch these or not, I just have a lot of fun making them. But I really want them to be valuable. So if there's things that you have questions about or things you'd like to know more about, please let me know in the comments below because I will definitely definitely respond and I just really want to continue making content that's relevant to you and helpful to you. Um, so if you ever have any video requests, please let me know in the comments and there is a very strong chance that I actually will make a video on what you're asking for. So I'm excited for 2024. I'm excited to see what happens this year. Um, as I explained in my last video, my goals just look a little bit different this year than what they have in the past. So. I don't know, we'll see. But today was a pretty good day. So I'm happy about that. Tomorrow I'll get the Christmas trees taken down or at some point this week I'll get them taken down um, and life will be good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more from me and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.